Okay, let's take a look at this cool little math wizard hack, and that's what I'm calling it. Everyone is looking for a little shortcut or little tricks and techniques, so, you know, we all kind of hope to be a math wizard. We kind of be like a human, you know, supercomputer. And uh, this little trick here, I think it's definitely worthy enough to make a video out of it. Obviously, that's why I'm making this video. But what we're going to be doing is squaring these numbers, and we've got three numbers we're going to do, and all three of these numbers end in five. So this technique is uh, going to uh, show us how to square any number that ends with five without the aid of a calculator. And um, this is gonna really cut down on the amount of arithmetic involved in multiplication that you uh, could do. Now, uh, obviously, we can use no calculator and get the answers to uh, each one of these questions. I'm gonna show you that here in a second. But uh, this little technique, um, I think, is definitely, you know, interesting. And it kind of highlights something that um, way back in the good old days was when there wasn't any actual electronic calculators and computers. You know, we had these little techniques. You know, I'm not that old, but um, they did have these techniques back there that could, um, little tricks and stuff that could aid you in speeding up your calculations, okay? So anyways, uh, I think you'll find this interesting, and we're gonna get into this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following uh, the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have uh, courses ranging from uh, pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here within about a week. Very excited about that. But I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ACCUPLACE, or CLEP uh, exam, Alex exam. There's a ton of different tests. Maybe a teacher certification exam. I can help you out. Just go to my website and check out my full course catalog. If I don't have what you're looking for, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool uh, learning system. And then obviously help those of you that are just having a tough time in your math courses. Now, uh, one thing, if you're truly serious about wanting to uh, be great at math, then you got to be great at taking math notes. Uh, this is the bottom line. And, you know, you're here to learn a little bit of math. Maybe this is interesting. Maybe you don't have to go to school anymore. That's always awesome. You're beyond that. But uh, I'm just telling you right now, over decades of teaching math, uh, those students who take great math notes almost always end up with excellent math grades. And then the reverse is true. Uh, those students who are always looking for hacks in terms of their notes, <laughs> shortcuts, guess what? You can look uh, until infinity. There really isn't. You're going to have to do the daily work of listening to your teacher and writing stuff down. That's the bottom line. But if you do that, you'll be pretty happy with the results. Now, in the meantime, uh, you still need some notes to study from. So you can use my notes. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. All right, let's get into this cool little math wizard hack so you can impress whoever you want to impress with this. It's kind of like a little trick, right? So we're going to start off with 65 squared, and I have a little procedure here, but uh, the procedure kind of um, uh, changes a bit, okay? So we'll do these three examples, and by the end of the this third example, you'll be like, oh, okay, I got this. Now, 65 squared, what does that mean? Well, it means take 65 and multiply it by 65. That's what it means to square a number. Now, I could go in and just get out a, a piece of paper and go, okay, 65 times 65, and do all the number crunching to get the right answer. So anytime you're squaring any number, you could always do that without the aid of a calculator. So yeah, you know, you and I both get that. But uh, if you were to do that, 65 times 65 happens to be 4,225. That is the answer, okay? Now, of course, you could do that. Uh, just by good old-fashioned brute force arithmetic, and you get this answer. Now, uh, let's get into this little hack. All right, now this, again, um, only uh, applies to numbers that end in 5. All right, so the first thing is your answer, the answer of any number that you're, you're going to be squaring that ends in 5, um, the answer is going to end in 25, 
right? So I'm going to show you this example, and you'll understand this, okay? All right, so just know that. Right off the bat, boom, the answer is going to end in 25. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, all right, is I'm going to add a 1 to the first digit. So here's 65, here's 6, I'm going to add 1 to it. 6 plus 1, that's 7, okay? All right, we understand that. So now I'm going to take that answer, and I'm going to multiply it by the original first digit, which was what? 6, okay? 7 times 6, if my uh, arithmetic, my times table is pretty good today, is 42, all right? Now I'm going to take that 42, and we're going to couple it up with that 25, because I told you the answer will always end in 25. And what do we get? We get that 42 and 25, we put them together, and we get 4225, and I'm pretty sure that's this number, and that's it. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, right? In my book, that's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, if you think that's cool, and, you know, I'm using the word cool a lot, uh, if you think that's great, interesting, or like, wow, that's, that's pretty impressive, well, that's it. Now, this uh, really comes in handy when we're doing two-digit numbers, but what happens when the numbers get more interesting? Okay, well, let's... Uh, take a look at a three-digit example. Now, it's going to be a little bit more, uh, a tad bit more work, but 145 squared, of course, is 145 times 145. And if I was to do, you know, good old-fashioned, you know, fifth-grade multiplication, uh, it would be like over here, it would be like blah, 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 blah. I would do, fill up my paper, and then finally I would add everything up, and then I would get this answer here, 21,025. All right, but let's follow that procedure. So what is the procedure? Number one, all your answers are going to end in 25. Okay, all your answers are going to end in 25. So the rest of the procedure is to get the first uh, digits. And then we're going to tack a 25 onto uh, uh, these digits, and that is going to be our answer. So how do we do that? Now, in the, uh, uh, the first example we took the first digit, but really what we're doing is taking the digits in front of the five. So here we're taking 145 squared, uh, the digits in front of the five, okay? Now in the previous example, I was at six, but here it's 14. So you're gonna take all those digits uh, in front of the five and you're gonna add one to it. So 14 plus one is 15. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We'll take that answer and multiply that 15 by the original, uh, digits in front of that 5, 15 times 5, that's 210. Now, this is much easier to do than doing all of that other work. But anyways, let's finish the problem. 210, we tack it uh, in front of that 25 that we knew that we were going to have, and we got, what, 210, uh, 25. That is the answer. Now, to me, I'm like, wow, you know, I'm like, that is so cool. I'm like, I'm amazed. Wow, that is really... You know, you must have like, you know, superpowers, math, with maybe let's get this guy a wizard hat or something like that, right? So that's pretty impressive. Yeah, to me, that's pretty impressive. Now, are you going to remember this every time, you know, you're doing, you know, um, arithmetic by, you know, hand and, and you don't have a calculator? Probably not, but, you know, you may. Uh, but all these little things in uh, arithmetic, like the divisibility rules, if you don't know what those are, uh, that's uh, worthy of knowing. You know, things that you can remember, you never know when they come in handy, but that's basically uh, it, okay? So if you think you're like, hmm, all right, I got that. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. By the way, one of the last uh, comment. Now here, you do have to do a little bit of, you know, multiplication, 15 times 14, but that's way better, I mean, doing this than doing 145 times 145, right? This is a lot more work. I'd rather do this all day long than do all of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this final example. All right, so we got uh, 2045. We're going to square it. Now, if you take these two numbers and brute force arithmetic, uh, we do all the work, we'll end up with this number, okay? So that's a lot of work and, you know, um, hand multiplication to do this. Again, our answer ends in 25. All our answers are going to end in 25. So what we have to do is get these first digits. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. So remember, here is our number, uh, 2045. We take the digits in front of the 5, okay? So whatever is in front of the 5, that's what we're going to 
take, we have 204, we add 1 to it. That's 205, and then we're going to multiply that by the original digits in front of that 5. That's 204. So yes, now 204 times 205, that is uh, going to be some work, and you get this number, 41,820. And if you notice, there's those digits. We got our lovely 25 right there, and you are done. Okay, that is the answer. But this is far easier to do than this, okay, in terms of multiplication. So um, hopefully you found this uh, interesting, and, you know, you can kind of, you know, it's tell someone, okay, listen, I bet you I can figure out these answers, you know, make sure you're good at, <laughs> get good at this technique before you bet anyone or be like, hey, you know, try to impress someone. But, you know, start with these two digit numbers like this, because uh, these are super easy to do and then work your way up and practice this if you are extremely bored. But, uh, you know, if it's your goal in life to become a uh, human math wizard, then, you know, this is one little technique that you could put in your toolbox. All right, so you determine uh, the value of this, but in mathematics, there is all kinds of crazy ways we could do calculations. Um, but I think there's value in looking at it because the math is really, I mean, it's so interconnected and most people just, you know, are bored with, uh, you know, kind of the, the procedures they've learned, you know, the algorithms learned in math. But there's other techniques we can multiply, divide numbers by, you'd be really surprised um, in terms of the ways we can actually approach so many different type of math problems. Okay, so if you found this video interesting in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That I would find that very interesting. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. Been on YouTube for 10 plus years. Um, have about over a thousand videos, uh, math videos, uh, ranging from basic to advanced mathematics. So if you like my teaching style, uh, you know, those videos are there for you, okay? Uh, no one should be failing math. If you're struggling in math, well, you got to really take a look at, are you doing your part? That's taking great math notes, talking to your teacher. Uh, but if you need extra help beyond that, there's tons of resources out there. So hopefully you'll take advantage of the videos on my channel because uh, my passion is trying to make math clear and understandable. But uh, if you really want my best math help, definitely want to check out my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.